Well, good morning. Welcome, welcome to the show. Glad you could uh, take time to uh, tune in and watch today. Uh, this video I'm gonna hear. Uh, we're on. Uh, we're not on a railroad. Well, I'm a standard on a railroad, but this is not going to be about too much about railroad today. They uh, board here in the second location, underneath our track. Uh, this whole video started out on uh, February 20th of 2022, and I've got several shots through March of that year. Today is actually October 20th of 2022. So we're gonna. This is the beginning and this is the end of the video. I do want to apologize uh, because at the end, uh, when when they actually put the pipes in and covered it, backfilled everything, uh, I was not able to get up here to do that. So you're not going to see that, but you will see a good bit of, uh, and it's pretty steep, a uh, good bit of that, uh, how they started uh, boring across, the boring underneath the track, the boring machine over here on the other side. and. Uh, we're going to show you here at the beginning of this video, actually the end of the video, and then the, the shots through, uh, throughout of uh, what I was able to catch. Back in April, uh, they had some serious uh, problems underground, roof falls on their long walls, and uh, we actually got laid off for 10 days. Two, almost, yes, 10 days. 10 days. So uh, they put the pipe in. And also they uh, backfilled everything during that period of time so I wasn't able to get up here to show you that part all right but I will show you here the final product and uh, like I said various clips of them what what I was able to get okay so uh, thank you very much for watching in advance here and I hope you enjoyed today's show <laughs> okay let's get turned around and I'll uh, show you the uh, finished product they are pumping gas through it now there's a big well over here that they're uh, pumping gas through it now okay okay the bore pit was over on this side of the track and uh, it's cold morning here 32 degrees this morning and I'm uh, I'm uh, doing track patrol here this morning looking for possible pull aparts but uh, there's your final product and you can see that is pretty steep all righty i they had the bore pit right over here i uh, told you it was 16 feet deep Un unbelievable uh we keep watching this track there's there's no compromise at all here on the ground surface and i'm really glad to see that there hasn't been any compromise at all on our uh, track surface either okay i did try really hard to get up in there past that orange thing up there to that pole so i could look down in the bore pit uh and golly it was they had water pumping out of there and the water was coming down over the hill and it was just so doggone slippery i fell three times trying to get up there i says well that's not going to happen so i do apologize for not showing you more of the down in the bore pit uh but Got what I could, so there you go. Well, look at this. We're starting the pipeline here. We're gonna come down here and bore under our track. Got another one up there, curve uh, 14, where they're boring under our track. Sunday morning. They cleared this off there about a month or so ago. We got to start on it. It's curve 23. It's a pretty steep hill. Come down here. And it's really close to the track. I am really surprised. Ah, uh, boring under the track won't hurt, but there's going to be a bore pit there where the pipe's going to come. I've got a bore from the other side. I'll show you that in a minute where they're going to go. Well, they've actually started boring here. Just 
like that other one we had up there. There's going to be two pipes. One for water and uh, one for gas. Good well site. I can't show you that because the hill's in the road. But good well site over to my right. Auger goes back in there, and that guy with the shovels comes out. The, the dirt comes out there uh, where that door is open on that thing. He's shoveling that debris away. Looks like they got that rock hammer holding the tray down for their boring machine. All right, I didn't know they started this up here this morning and saw this activity. We're going to check it out. That guy there, the, if you weren't best on, he's controlling the feed. And pipeline's got to go down. Out over there, is what I'm gonna pour under that road over there and go up over the hill. All righty. back. I did not get up here when they were digging this out. But my goodness, this is steep. Wow. That's uh, This is where they bored under the track at. Um, that guy up there, he's been sitting there for a couple hours. I went up the road, he was still sitting there. So I don't know uh, if he's going to do some more digging today or not. I don't have time to sit around here and wait for him. But uh, just running track this morning. Wow, that is uh, that is really steep. I bet that guy will be glad when this day's over. This is the. Uh, through the game lands here at Pennsylvania State Game Lands and right down around the curves, Bridge 3. Well, looky what we got here. It rocked. What's not surprising about that? that dozer up there. I said that was a deer dozer. This is where they bored under the track. So. Same thing happened up there. Curb, uh, Fort 
15 where they bored under. They hit rock down here. They did cut that slope out a little bit better, so it wasn't quite as steep. It's still probably a well, okay, we're on the other side of the track now. And uh, said they're going to put a water line in, and that's the gas line over there on the right. They've got the pipe down there, and they bored underneath the, the road over there, and also underneath the creek, creek and then road. And that guy was telling me, over there when he dug down to find that pipe on the other side. I don't know if you see that excavator way over there on the other side. A little access road in there. He dug down 29 feet. 29 feet to find that pipe. <laughs> so anyway. Now this is easy. Pipeline in here. But. Uh, give you a little different perspective. Of this. He was. Uh. They did find their pipe over here. And the one pipe is 12 foot down, and the other pipe is 16 foot down. So, that's a pretty good hole, pretty uh, deep hole. He got a little bit more to chip out. He was, uh, the guy there in the reg was telling me that uh, this ain't bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he told me. He said, he said, walk right down it. I imagine so. It's getting back up out. But, uh, especially with those street pads. Anyway, he said he was on another pipeline in West Virginia where they uh, actually had uh, three dozers hooked to him. You know, they have a dozer, then another dozer, then another dozer. Well, you know, you know how that goes. So... All right. Well, we're back here the next day. I'm heading up track to do some more uh, shoulder work up there, cleaning up the shoulder on curve 12. And uh, look at what we got here. Nice little welder on a skid. And they winched it down the hill. Pretty neat. Uh, <laughs> boy, I good I uh, said that hole's pretty deep. 16 foot. So, he's got an oxygen acetylene hoses strung out there. And I'd imagine the, rather imagine the welders are down in that hole getting the pipe ready to weld. So there you have it. Pretty neat stuff. That's a pretty good drop off there right behind that dozer. So, I wasn't here, but at that skid, I'm sure they set it in there with the excavator, which is why he's down here. And then hooked onto it with that and let it slide down. It's actually the, the cables there to uh, keep it from sliding any further and to pull it back up. Alrighty. So, I don't have much time to spend here this morning and there's not a whole lot to see. So, uh, I gotta head up track and get to work.